welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. I'm here with Rai. Say hi, Rai. Hi. Today, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a trick called the Alpha Deck by Richard Sanders. Now, Richard Sanders originally put this decades ago on the uh, Richard Sanders show and then released it as a standalone product. It is available from your favourite Magic dealer. It is an amazing trick deck of cards uh, with an amazing kicker ending. Everything's examinable, pretty much. And uh, there's no table required, so it's great for walk around. You've never seen this trick before, so I'm going to perform it for you. And uh, my question to you, Ryland, do you believe in coincidence? Yeah. You do. Yeah, I know that sometimes you and you and your sister Theo will both think at the same time, I want to play Zelda. Or well, I want to watch TV. Yeah, exactly. I want to have this bar, I want to have that bar. Exactly, exactly. So we're going to do an experiment in coincidence using a pack of playing cards, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to give the deck a couple you of cuts. Me. Yeah, you and me. I want to cut about half the cards there, so it's about uh, as equal as you can. Very good. Now pick up half the cards. I'll pick up half the cards. Do not look at the faces. Don't show the faces to anyone else at any point. Hold them as if you're about to deal. Now don't do anything until I say. But when I say go, you're going to spread through and you're going to look for a card. Not yet, not until I say go. You're going to look for a card and when you see a card that you like the look of, you're going to stick it forward in the pack. Now the reason I don't want you to do anything until I say go is at the same time as you looking for a card, I'm going to look for a card, okay? And then stick it forward and tell me when you've got one. Right, go. So you're looking for a card. When you've got a card that you like the look of, don't look at the face of it. We're doing this completely with coincidence, but when you like the look of one, push it forward. Okay? I've got one near the bottom. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take your card and put it on my half. You take my card and put it on your half. And here's the question. You could have picked any card out of your half, right? I could have picked any card out of my half. Let's have a look at what the cards are. On three, we'll turn the cards over. One, two, three. Look at that. The two red aces. Now, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, maybe that was just a fluke. But so, I tell you, should we try it again? Give the cards a couple of cuts first. Give the cards a couple of cuts and they're mixed up. And then when you've done that, oh, you're even going for a Hindu shuffle. Are you getting fancy? Okay, now let's do it again. I want you to spread through. If you want to, I'm not going to go for the top card, but I mean, if you want to be ever so awkward, you can no, be. I'm going to go for the second card. Okay. Are you sure? I've, I've got my card. you got your card, yeah? So I'm going to put your card in my half. You put your my card in your half. And think about this. You could have took any card. I mean, you chose to take the second card from the top. I mean, no one could have known. Let's have a look at what we've got on three. One, two, three. Look at that. we got the other two aces. We've managed to find the four aces, which is pretty impressive. Now, when I do this for people... We could do, but when I do this to people, they go, well, hang on a minute, that's not a coincidence. You're just cheating, and how it works is all of the cards in this pack are aces. That's not the case. In fact, if yeah, you... Yeah, but wouldn't you get, like, a black ace and a red ace? Exactly, you're thinking about it logically, but a lot of people don't. They think, oh, they're all aces. But I'm pretty glad that you found those four cards. I'm pretty glad that between us, we found those four aces, because, to be honest, if you'd gone for any other card in the pack, it would have been completely and totally blank because none of these cards are printed. You can check it out. The only cards that are printed are the four aces. It's called the Alphabet Deck. It's an amazing pack of cards available from your favorite magic dealer. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. Say bye, Ryan. Bye.